My name is Frankson Collins II. I am a math professor here at Prairie View Andam University. Um, I also own my own tutoring company called HELP, helping to educate and learn properly. And I'm also the president of Groove by Groove Social Fellowship Incorporated here at Prairie View A&M University, Panther 3 chapter. I believe leadership is something that I became well before I got to Prairie View A&M University. It's one of those things you probably heard your whole life. I was born to be a leader. Um, when I used to get in trouble and people used to follow me into getting in trouble, the statement then became you need to lead people to greatness instead of leading people to hell. So you start to realize that certain things are in you. I was able to go through a lot of things and my life ended up being a testimony for most of the people that I've came across. And one of the biggest things that I learned throughout leadership is you can't lead without experience. And so my whole life has been an experience. And working at the university, a lot of the kids are running into situations that I encountered as a child, and I'm able to give them great life lessons um, about that due to my experiences. I believe leadership is more like a lid. Um, and I'll give you my example. In the book of uh, 21 Irrefutable uh, Laws of Leadership, written by John Maxwell, he begins to talk about how everybody has a leadership lid, meaning that a person that's a five can't take you past the level that they are, you know? and so. I originally look at myself as probably like an eight or a nine, meaning that a lot of the people that are around me are fours and fives and just need a little bit of guidance to get to that next level. We must learn to pop people's lids. Um, we must surround ourselves with people that have higher leadership capability to take us to the highest level of leadership that we can reach, um, which allows us to lead from the back and the front um, because a true leader must lead in both of those capacities. One of the best techniques is one is to be a good listener. Um, in order to lead, you have to know what people um, need to be led about um, and be able to point people in directions um, in which they can obtain information other than through you. Um, like I was told as a kid, anything they didn't want us to know, they put in a book. So one of the biggest things I love to do is to lead people in directions of knowledge, to point them in a the direction of the truth. Um, that way they can answer their own questions as we realize how we are created. Every answer that you have as a question is already inside of you. The key is to get inside of yourself to pull these answers out. Everybody's millions is already inside of their brain, it's just everybody doesn't know how to bring their millions out of their brain. One of the biggest things is everybody has to be real. And when I say real, that just merely means honest. That we must know your strength and your weaknesses. Because once we know everyone's weaknesses, we can begin to build on those. And once we build on those weaknesses, those weaknesses now become strengths. So the biggest thing is for someone to be able to be as real as they can about themselves and be an open vessel. Allowing yourself to be open allows yourself to be utilized in a multitude of ways that you may not have imagined because you're not closed-minded about your approach. So one of the biggest ways I say my technique is, is allowing myself to be an open vessel and being real with the people that I encounter. That way that I can always give them the best of me to better service them. Hi, my name is Carla Stamps. I'm a math tutor for Professor Collins, and I've been tutoring with him for about two years now. On many occasions, I've been to Professor Collins' class, and whether he was teaching five to 20 students, he just have his own unique way of bringing out the best in each student. It's amazing. One thing I've noticed about Professor Collins is that he's a great leader around, for many organizations around campus. Um, he is, has a great reputation with the students, and very passionate human being. Another thing I love about his leadership is that he'll serve in ways that he's not looking for recognition. He's just focusing on the end goal and making sure that everybody is successful in the end. One of the last things that I love about his leadership is that he would host monthly meetings on uh, and teaches us how we can